Ready to go, Jackson? Indeed. That's how I leave the house. Is there anything weird? I don't have a shirt on because I only have two shirts. I really you you probably it. all have seen his whole wardrobe. Yes, you've seen my whole wardrobe. But it shifts because I lose things and things like that. Um, but it pretty much stays the same. Uh, but we're going to get our clothes washed this morning and I washed both my shirts. So I can either wear a rain jacket out or just be shirtless. And I'm going to be shirtless and soak up that vitamin D and let all the beautiful women of Tulum and men uh, see my beautiful naked body and animal rights tattoos. Just stopped at the first lavanderia and our stuff could, we couldn't get our stuff back for what, like 30 hours they said? Two days pretty much, uh, which isn't gonna cut us for us because I barely have any clothes. I need a t-shirt if we're gonna go to the clubs tonight, or maybe I don't. Might be a perfect time to not have any clothes, but no, we're gonna go find another place. I just wanted to mention, cause remember in the last vlog, I kind of hated a little bit on being in a touristy place or that I prefer to be in places where like I'm the only traveler and it's super local. Um, I don't, I don't always feel that way. I'm so happy to be in Tulum and be around hit people and travelers and stuff. But one of the benefits of why I like to be in really smaller, more local places is like, if we, if, if we went to any lavanderia in a small town, they'd just be like, yeah, come back in three hours, it'll be done. But in a place like Tulum, there's so many people probably getting their clothes done. And when you're in a touristy city, it's also gonna be a bit more difficult to get amenities. It's a tiny little thing. I just wanted to share with you guys, because I'm a professional traveler, and being in small places, stuff like this is easier. All right, we found it. They can do our stuff today, Maggie, rejoice. And it's an eco-friendly place, so. The universe was just pointing us in the right direction all along. Look at Alyssa eating guavas. We're gonna go get mangoes now. I wanna eat mango. So before heading to the beach, we just found out that there's a sound healing with like crystal bowls, a uh, little meditation and chill out session going on. And I think we can delay our plans an hour for that, would you say? Yes, my wildest dreams have come true. We need and some... the very reason why we came to Tulum um, is finally coming to fruition is Sound that we, we needed some healing we just work so hard um, you know we have to go through really difficult challenges on a daily basis and I just really needed to recharge and so I actually can't tell right now if you're being sarcastic and humorous or if you're being absolutely serious. Because really? it's kind of, yeah. What I'm so sarcastic. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, cool. That, I'm sarcastic too. But you can also say that sitting down and no, doing I a do sound. No, oh. Yeah, like we're always, our backs, and we're always just in traffic sometimes. So yes. um, we also need a sound healing. It's but our lives are not as hard as most people. No. Our lives are fun. And easy. And childlike. My, uh, my new outfit, Tulum has really, Tulum has really changed me. I think I'm gonna stop the bike life, open up a cold pressed organic coffee and, and pink clothing store. This, this just feels me, you know? I know, so and it just and feels more me. It's so soft the whole, like, and, bike and life pink. Stuff. Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sell seven dollar Colombian cacao infused cold pressed coffees. I think it's a great idea, Jackson. You should do it. <laughs> So difficult to find parking. We were in the car for like 45 minutes, which should have been 10. And now we can't even take Maggie and she's in the car for five minutes. We're just going to look at the beach because they don't accept dogs. Again, because we're in a tourist spot and they have to have rules because there's just so many people coming through. And it's not like the free, free Mexico with no rules that I'm used to, but it's all right. There's burritos and vegan ice cream. We're going clubbing tonight, so it's all yin yang, pluses and minuses. But we're gonna go to a public beach after this for Maggie. What, what did he say? He said, I look like one of the very well-known Mayan princesses. Wow. Who is known to share the beauty of the earth to 
others. So she said that's that. That is true. And that might be a past life of yours. According to a Avelino. <laughs> Jackson said that with coming to a big city like this, he would indulge in vegan ice cream. This is the very moment he was talking about. <laughs> can you, can you? Vegan ice cream. Hecho con leche. Puta madre. Nada sin leche. Cabrones. Take 37, Alyssa, trail mix, Maggie, tail, action. I thought I'd get away with it. Honestly. What happened? <laughs> So we went to the um, nuts <laughs> bulk section. <laughs> Quick, batteries almost okay, dead. We went Go, to the fast. bulk section and I wanted a trail mix, but I saw the pistachios. They were a uh, little bit more expensive. They were like twice as much, I think. 25 no. and 40, yeah. Okay, they were twice as much. Almost. And I wanted a little bit more pistachios in my trail mix. So you just put a little, like a little hand. A little on bit. Top. A little bit more. Like this yeah. much honestly and yeah. the, the 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 lady at the cash noticed that there were more pistachios no i th no because there's no pistachios in this one she no, literally there are a little bit. oh there are there were a little <gasps> bit yeah she noticed that there were just more pistachios yeah. and that we cheated yeah. and then she said i'm going to charge you for all pistachios cuz you did that mm -hmm. so we had to pay even more Twice. And I respect that. That is a good hustle of an employee because usually at big corporate grocery stores, the person at the cash register won't give a shit about that. But she was a uh, honest employee and I respect her for that. And will you do it again? Yes, <laughs> me too. What else, what else is new? We got coconut oil. Sure, we might cook with it sometimes, make a curry on the road, but this is mainly for our bodies. We are now in beach land. We will be in oceans. We will be in sun. And it is nice to rub this all over your body. We did laundry, which oh, Alyssa this is said. Folded and clean. This hurt a little bit. This hurt. Alyssa said, seeing the clean laundry has been the most enjoyable part of the bike experience so far. It hurts. But as I said in the car, any victories I can get to make Alyssa happy, <laughs> I'm happy. It's the truth. I think today was one of my favorite. Today was amazing. Just hanging out with Sitara and all of And sound healing. And the night is young. Get ready, guys. Burrito Amor. Si. Burrito Amor. And the salad that I don't remember. The nopales y... Cactus, I, that's, avocado. That's a puffed quinoa on the salad. Mm -hmm. And onion and avocados. And Happy for later. I need a sip of that because we're partying hard tonight. We got guac. We live in abundance in Mexico. Vegan burritos. And we're hanging out with our friends from Michigan. Who we even have found out we have mutual friends. Oh, yeah. Miss Nature, Ashley. <laughs> Ashley, uh, we are all friends with you, and yeah, we and appreciate they work, you. <laughs> they work at the Ra a raw vegan cafe in Michigan that yeah. um, Ashley and Lauren designed the menu, and how I and we know Ashley is also how we know each other, and it's all just beautiful. And now, buen provecho, we shall eat. <laughs> 